A new D.C. soccer stadium appears to be a done deal now, with city officials and the mayor-elect all on board. But not everyone's excited about this new development project. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford, live in southwest Washington, to explain why for us tonight. Hi, Sam. Hello, Leon. Well, as you're talking about somebody not excited, obviously the Ackridge company that thought they were going to get swap this land for the uh, for the Reeves Center in northwest in North northwest D.C. But it appears that this area called Buzzard Point is about to explode with development if history is a guide. D.C. has had an exceptionally good soccer team in D.C. United for a long time. This morning, with smiles and nods, city officials announced they're all on the same page for taxpayers to split the cost of a new stadium with the team. We are in a very responsible way investing uh, at, at Buzzard Point, uh, making a home for our soccer team and creating uh, jobs. About $140 million is D.C.'s half, according to outgoing Mayor Gray. Gone is a proposal to swap the city's Reeves Center building in Northwest with the Ackridge Company for land it owns at the stadium site. The final vote is next week. On the 16th, it's my view that we will unanimously approve this project and we'll get the soccer stadium built. So it's a really good day. Since Nationals Baseball Park was built on the other side of South Capitol, the transformation's been amazing. A new city of high rises and high rents. So what's the Buzzard Point neighborhood like? Extremely industrial, lots of big trucks headed for several cement factories, extremely bad roads, a salvage yard, and lower income residential areas where some are worried. My concern is my uh, the local housing over here. They have been my loyal customers. I've been here for 11 years. Some longtime residents say they hope it works for the best. Maybe they can get a job. Bring more jobs and stuff, so we need that. I'm ready to build it. Of course, as we said, the big loser in this deal is Ackridge. They're not going to get the Reeves Center, and the city made clear today that it would use its powers of eminent domain, essentially to give the company market rate and take the land. Reporting live from Southwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you.